Hi guys, it's Sandy. So I need to share something very important with you. It's how to get the pesticides, the bacteria, the toxins off of the produce that you bring home. So off of your fruits and your vegetables. Fruits and vegetables are very important to eat, but the pesticides and the toxins that we are taking in by eating them is really bad for our health. My husband and I were watching a documentary on Netflix called Poison, The Dirty Truth About Food, and it really opened my eyes because along with the pesticides, there's E. coli, there's been salmonella outbreaks, and it's all because of the food did not get washed properly. So if you really wanna protect yourself, protect your kids, you gotta know how to wash your fruit and vegetables properly, and it's really easy. So let me show you how to do it because I started to do a lot of research after I watched that documentary because I needed to do things differently. I've been using water forever, right? That's not enough. It doesn't get the pesticides off. What I found is the most best, most potent thing that helps get the pesticides off is baking soda. So you'll see in different videos or different blogs about using white vinegar. Now, does white vinegar help? Yes, but it does not take everything off the way that baking soda does. And it's scientifically shown that the baking soda is more effective at it. So let me show you how to do this. I'm gonna do a couple in bowls, just so you can see it, and then some of the sink, which is what I would normally do. So I have two bowls of cold water. I'm gonna take my strawberries and my blueberries and put them in one bowl because they um, stand up better. They're a little tougher of a berry. Raspberries, on the other hand, are very delicate. So I'm gonna put them in a bowl all by themselves just so they don't get crushed. So let me add my blueberries in here too. I wanna to keep my containers because I wanna put them back in the containers. So I just put my blueberries, my strawberries down in here, and then I'm gonna grab out a spoon. And what I'm gonna do is add the baking soda. And it's that simple. So let me tell you, I was watching a video on, or I was reading an article from America's Test Kitchen, and they took plain water, white vinegar, and baking soda, and they tested it to see what would happen. So I did two tablespoons in here, and I'm gonna do one tablespoon in my raspberries. And then I'm gonna very gently just stir that up, and then I'm gonna let them sit for just a little bit. Let me stir both these up. Anyway, what they found by testing them, like they tested the pesticide, pesticide on strips, so they really did test them, is the baking soda was the only one that alkalizes the water, and that's what you need the, to get the pesticides off. It has to alkalize the water, and then the pesticides start coming off. But they um, put the baking soda in, and the baking soda is what removed the pesticides, not just the vinegar and not just the water. So from the different articles I read, the National Institute of Health also did a science uh, thing for the Journal of Agriculture and found baking soda is one of the best things, <laughs> baking soda. I'm gonna soak raspberries two minutes so they don't become waterlogged and everything else, five to 10 minutes of soaking in baking soda. So I just filled my sink up with water and I'm gonna put all the vegetables in here together. I would also put my strawberries and blueberries in here if I was doing that. And then I wanna add a few heaping tablespoons of baking soda in here. Stir that up just a little bit and I'm going to let these sit. The raspberries are the first ones I'm going to get off. I don't want the raspberries to soak too long or they become waterlogged and you just want to rinse them off with more cold water just to get all the pesticides off of there now. You want to make sure they're all rinsed off. Now I'll do the exact same thing with my strawberries and blueberries. Rinse them off really good in cold water. Let them sit and drain for a minute just to get the water off. And then I'm gonna dry them on some paper towels. Time to drain and rinse off the vegetables. They sat here for about 10 minutes in the baking soda. Rinse them off with nice cold water. For the carrots and the celery, I'm just cutting them up to put into jars anyway, so I don't need to Make sure those are dry. And now these can just be easily eaten with some dip or peanut butter. So I put everything back into the containers now. They are good and dry. You've got to make sure that they are very dry or they'll get yucky in the refrigerator. I'll put these. They'll stay in the water. I got the cucumbers nice and dry. I'm going to put them back in the bag. 
And it's a little more work when you get home from the grocery and you have to do this, but then it's done and you know you're serving nice, clean food with no chemicals, toxins, and pesticides. Okay, you guys, until next time, I'm out.